I'm talking today to Pallavi Fink, who after doing her B.Tech and then Masters in Psychology, decided to teach Hindi to foreigners. There are countless people from embassies and consulates who have been Hindi tutored by her. And some of the notable names also include people like William Dalrymple and Jacqueline Fernandez. There will be many who could teach Hindi, but that's not the question. The point is the innovation and novelty which Pallavi brings enabling foreigners to learn basic Hindi in 10 hours and well-versed Hindi in about 30 hours. Pallavi says that language is an inadvertent medium and wholesome attire of an individual. Let's talk to Pallavi on why she chose this unconventional path and how she brought unconventional methods of teaching on this unconventional path. Welcome to the show, Pallavi. Thank you for having me and, uh, and considering me uh, important enough, valuable enough to be on this show among all the notable illustrious uh, people that you have interviewed before. No, 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 not at, all, not at all. I think you are doing some tremendous work to bring social inclusion with the power of language and we definitely need to talk about it. Pallavi, let me, let me start by asking you to help us give a little bit of context. So, this is your rendezvous with Hindi. This is the rendezvous with Hindi. When did it happen? How did it happen? Where did it happen? When I was doing B.Tech, I wasn't very interested. Uh, my courses, my modules, I didn't feel good. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I should also probably give a context to it. See, I am a born Delhiite in the sense I was born and raised in uh, Delhi and Sia region. And um, suddenly I was thrown in an engineering college par there were many people from Hindi belt and um, let's just like they, they were people from not big towns and cities, let's say, or not in majority. So I felt very excluded. I felt disconnected from the college crowd. I felt very disconnected with the studies I had to do. So I sort of started to, you know, go to places where maybe I could find people like me to study with. So... I joined the uh, Bharti Vidya Bhavan's French diploma. Mm -hmm. Just me, you know, there were people from, I mean, not to, like I said, I would, we would get into this eventually as well. Um, at that age, you don't have the gravitas to understand, you know, that education in India works in many layers. So I really enjoyed learning French because the teacher was, he spoke like us, right? Or I mean, she and he, whoever was teaching whichever semesters, they spoke like us. They connected to us very well. So I just thought, you know, if somebody can teach French with no, let's say there is no French uh, exposure for us, right? We are not reading any newspapers in French. We are not watching French shows. I was anyway surrounded with, you know, Hindi, everything from right from, you know, signs and boards and uh, written things like restaurant menus and, uh, you know, uh, yeah. newspaper, etc. Maybe they'll also want to, you know, get some help at some point. So that's just the sense me started that let's see how you know I can maybe reach out. So at that time, I didn't understand so much about Facebook marketing and all. So I just knew that you know Delhi University has exchange semesters, where some Indian students they go abroad and some uh, foreign students come to India. So uh, their group is generally, and you know if you reach one reach out to one person, you reach out, you've reached out to the whole group basically. So I started reaching out and I said, Ki bhai, if you want to, you know, have any help uh, in learning Hindi or just ideas tutoring you, ki kisi bhi topic it was so unstructured back Saturday, just in class, mein, I was in, you know, yeah. you go to Lajpat Nagar, etc., which is an area in Delhi where a lot of refugees stay and a lot of students stay. So I would just go and take a bunch of lessons and that's how it started. Was there any background to your liking for Hindi from school or from, from a young age? Um, I should credit my parents for this. Um, I mean, fortunately, I haven't had parents who enforced English. Because see, my mother is speaking Derawali with her parents or at least listening to it. Uh, my father is speaking Punjabi. They got married now. We are in, born and brought up in Delhi. So we are learning Hindi in schools. Uh, we didn't go to any, um, let's say, cultural specific schools like Guru Harkrishan or, you know, convent school, where they language prati they have a orientation. So I felt like I was lucky to just get that because then it really 
helps you cognitively develop ki you have words in your vocabulary to speak with you are not feeling handicapped so i would say ki there was an a clear affection but there was uh, because there was no coercion i was very clear in uh, grasping all the languages so pallavi ye discovery hindi ke sath aapki btech ki waqt hui us bhi aap masters karne ke liye psychology mein aapne sofia bombay se kiya तो एक तो पहला सवाल ये कि ये जानते हुए कि कुछ हिंदी से एफिनिटी बन रही है आप क्या अभी भी अनश्योर थी कि आप साइकोलॉजी करने गई और दूसरा साइकोलॉजी करने से साइकोलॉजी का लैंग्वेजेस का कोई इंटरसेक्शन है क्या जो आपको एक एज देता है आपके स्टूडेंट्स को बेहतर समझने में या आपका आपकी आपके प्रोफेशन को बेटर डिलीवर करने में सेट की वो उस टाइम इतना अनस्ट्रक्चर था फ्राइडे को कभी चले गए सैटरडे को चले गए कुछ एक्सचेंज स्टूडेंट्स हैं उनसे बात कर ली कभी उनको पढ़ा दिया कभी उनके दोस्तों को पढ़ा दिया तो इतना तो समझ में आ रहा था कि देर इज नो स्ट्रक्चर टू इट यू नो इट्स नॉट और प्लस आई डोंट कम फ्रॉम अ बैकग्राउंड वेयर एवरीथिंग नीड्स टू बी अबाउट मेकिंग मनी कि इसका नेक्स्ट क्या है सो आई वॉज टेकिंग इट लाइक अ वेरी हॉबी काइंड ऑफ थिंग तो देन बाय एंड सो वेन वी डू बी टेक और एनी अदर कोर्स वी हैव सम इलेक्टिव तो luckily and luckily we got some electives from psychology okay so it's me industrial psychology obviously etc so i just figured yeah, this is something i may want to pursue further usme may maine isliye lagaya because us time tak mujhe bhi clarity nahi thi ki do i want to do psychology as a career or do i not want to do it itna pata tha ki masters karna hai because masters to karni hai let me do it in uh, something i actually like studying so then i decided to uh, do that because sofia was a very renowned place known college you know i mean very well known institution etc so to it was like a no brainer ki wahan se agar ho raha admission so of course you go for it um fir what happened was because i see ma teaching hindi because it was a hobby in in, in all that uh the money it was giving me right i was just teaching and taking cash teaching and taking cash and as a child who is 16 17 18 who is uh, you know getting quick cash uh quick instant you know cash to spend uh, you don't want to stop that activity right so i felt like yaar yeah, main yahan bhi kar sakti hu so it just sort of pivoted to ki wahan pe to chalo it was as a hobby yahan pe let me do it more in frequency so mm-hmm. hafte mein zyada din karungi because you know i have more फ्लेक्सीबिलिटी इन द सेंस ऑफ आई हैव माई ओन टाइम अच्छा घर से बाहर रह रहे हैं तो ऐसा भी नहीं है कि घर जाके यू नो योर फैमिली सो एवरी डे इट यूज टू बी चलो यू नो माई लेक्चर आर ओवर लेट मी ट्राई एंड टीच हिंदी सो वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट अ फॉर्म ऑफ प्रैक्टिस इन साइकोलॉजी वेर इधर यू कैन काउंसिल और यू कैन वर्क एज ए थेरेपिस्ट आई वॉज एन वेरी श्योर की उसके लिए कुछ स्ट्रक्चर्ड मार्केट है क्या इंडिया में इज दैट समथिंग दैट वी आर आई मीन यू स्टिल there are celebrities talking about it and all that but uske liye koi ecosystem mujhe nahi dikha a lot of my batchmates who were passing out and i asked them ki aap kya karte ho and they used to say ki hum ngo mein kaam karte hain yeah you know we are trying to uh, work in a school as a counselor and abhi vacancy nahi nikli hai because you see there is so many students but there is only one or two counselors so again i had to be like yaar ki ye to because you study and you want to get a job eventually i mean you don't study to study at least i was in approaching in that way so i thought kya ab to maine wo bhi pad liya jo mujhe acha lagta hai now i am not able to um, you know monetize my education so why don't i just continue with this um so uske tahat i what i did started doing was um get more and more students and see how it's working for me time wise scheduling wise and money wise i i think it was a sign or i don't know what it was when i was about to graduate i was in my second year i get an offer from uh, the us consulate in mumbai mm-hmm. to to come to their uh, consulate which is basically in, uh, their satellite embassy in mumbai right. and teach hindi to their staff okay so i think wahan se i was like okay here we go <laughs> a job you know a contract so why would i say no to that and i was merely 23 back then so it sort of gave me a direction maine kaha chalo let me try and do this because why not you know who gets hired at the american consulate uh, without any say background in hindi or whatever 
uh, to to teach Hindi because her oh, word of mouth or yeah, maybe some expat told them or I don't know what happened. Mm -hmm. So that was like a pivoting moment for me. So I went ahead with that. And to answer your second question, yeah. psychology helped me a lot. I should say that maybe it wasn't a direct degree to you know job translation in that way. Maybe like maybe B Tech or other degrees are. Um, I feel like a lot of people who come to India, I mean, jokes apart and like, they also have their own stereotypes. Mm -hmm. Ki India ja rahe hai, toh pe aisa hi hoga. I feel like they also have, um, they don't immediately fall in love with the place. You know, like maybe a lot of Indians who go abroad, ek, you know, we have, wo chao hai hai andar, US jane ka, Canada jane ka, you, you understand? So they don't have that. So mostly they see it as a demotion. Mm -hmm. ki agar India bhej hai to either they're here for making money or there is some other reason like maybe they have family or something like this they don't see it as Paris because let's face it Delhi is not Paris Mumbai is not Switzerland right mm -hmm. so because of that kahin na kahin, they don't they don't come in with an open mind so a lot of them already had assumptions about me for example ki obviously she'll not come on time ki agar class teen baje ki hai to saadhe teen tak of course, we'll wait. Because who comes that time? Pe, right? Ya phir, she's an Indian teacher. Mm, aata nahi hoga. Vaise, let's see. Kitna, kya hai, kaise hai. So for the longest time, it was me dealing with those things. And I would show up, say, for, at 2.50 uh, you know, p.m. or whatever. And they'll be shocked that you're time. Pe yeah. so, <laughs> so I think uh, psychology really sort of helped me uh, break those. Well, if I firstly understand those barriers why is it happening like this interesting i think you now when i look back at my own growing up yeah <laughs> somehow the hindi classes in school were the most boring periods wo stereotype ho gaya tha wo tha nahi par wo stereotype humko hamare seniors ne kar diya ya baki bachcho ne kar diya ya ho sakta hai baki teachers ne bhi kar diya ho ki ye unimportant class hai ya unimportant period hai aur कहीं ना कहीं वो एक कंडीशनिंग एडजंक्ट बन गया कि हिंदी मतलब जस्ट लीव इट ऑन द साइड इट डजंट नीड टू बी कंसंट्रेटेड अपॉन एंड इट्स सो सैड एक्चुअली एंड आई एम रियलाइजिंग दैट नाउ पल्लवी बिकॉज़ एज़ आई एम टॉकिंग टू यू आई एम आल्सो डूइंग संस्कृत क्लासेस ओ वाओ मुझे जो उसमें अब साइंस समझ में आ रहा है जब कोई साइंस होता ही नहीं था मतलब as modern science nahi hota tha us waqt jo sanskrit mein jo science ke logic ke roots hain combined with you know the intuition of the cosmic uh, consciousness it is just marvelous to understand it's mind boggling par us samay na ye maturity thi na ye samajh thi apne aas paas ka mahol aisa tha aur sawal aap se ye hai main ye isi liye bol raha hu ki aaj kai parivar hindustan mein aise hain जहां घर में इंग्लिश ही बोली जाती है बोली जाती है और जितने वो एफ्लुएंट हो जाते हैं शायद उतनी ज्यादा वो चीज हो जाती है तो मल्टीलिंग्विलिज्म वहां से चला जाता है इट बिकम्स अ सिंगुलर लैंग्वेज वो इंग्लिश की लैंग्वेज होती है एंड यू आर अ स्टूडेंट ऑफ साइकोलॉजी व्हाट आई हैव हर्ड इन रेड आल्सो दैट व्हेन यू आर स्पीकिंग अ वैरायटी ऑफ लैंग्वेजेस और एटलीस्ट मोर देन वन लैंग्वेज इट समहाउ helps your nervous system to stay in a better or in a healthier condition and aapko jo nervous system related issues diseases hone ki sambhavna hai wo kafi kam ho jati hai very good point in fact so how truthful or how how much do you subscribe to this so um okay to target the first half of the question um you are absolutely right hamare mere school mein dd shastri karke sir hote the i mean the name itself acha okay let me tell you this i did masters in hindi literature right mm -hmm. so usme um we are as any other literature would go we are prescribed some novels books and known you know uh, highlights of historic like uh, literature pieces jisko aap pad ke you can dissect you know the society at that point the undercurrent events etc now when i being a student acha maine to aise kari because chalo yaar because i'm teaching hindi let me at least see what what this entails i am realizing these are just unexplored first of all ki aisa hai isko pad lo answer de aao paper pass kar lo i think with any other thing right hmm. to mujhe lagta hai ki wo science aur wo tabhi aayega jab people are really passionate about it hmm. 
विच दे आर नॉट तो आई थिंक हम अगर सिर्फ उसी को लेंगे कि मैं हिंदी टीचर बनना है टीजीटी पीजीटी एनईटी करके फिर देन आई विल यू लूज देंस सी आई स्टार्टेड डूइंग दिस बिकॉज ए आई वॉज एंजॉइंग इट बी आई डेंट लुक एट इट की इमीजिएट मुझे इससे क्या मिल रहा है सो इट सोड ऑफ इट मैरिनेटेड राइट आई वॉज इन इट फॉर मेनी ईयर्स एंड देन इट केम बिकेम समथिंग तो आई फील लाइक वेन यू अप्रोच इट विद दैट परस्पेक्टिव देर आर मेनी टीचर्स हु इवन जैसे हम लोगों के स्कूलों में लाइक सेड ना इंग्लिश टीचर वुड बी लाइक मे बी शील हैव अ बॉय कट हेयर एंड शी विल प्रॉब्ली बी वेरी स्मार्टली लुकिंग एक्सेट्रा स्मार्ट लुकिंग एक्सेट्रा बट देन हिंदी टीचर ऑन दर हैंड वुड बी दिस धोती क्लैड या कॉटन साड़ी या बड़ी बिंदी आई मीन दो विजुअलाइजेशन स्टीरियो टाइप इवन आई वॉज एक्सपेक्टेड टू डू दैट की भाई हिंदी टीचर आई साड़ी में ही आएगी ऑब्वियसली राइट ऑब्वियसली तो आई थिंक आई थिंक कहीं ना कहीं दैट नीड्स टू बी आई थिंक आई एम ऑल्सो कॉन्शियसली ट्राइंग टू डू दैट की कभी कोई बोलता है ना कि अच्छा हिंदी इंटरव्यू करेंगे तो फिर आप हिंदी में ही बोलिएगा ना लाइक नो आई एम वेरी वेल स्पोकन इन इंग्लिश इज वेल एंड दैट्स एग्जैक्टली माई पॉइंट यू कॉन्ट बी यू नो just be like painting me in one thing ki okay she is 1d she is one dimensional and hindi 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 aise nahi hota so i feel like ki um boring i am also at a point where i am teaching university students so i do realize ki you know you have to make everything interesting um even as somebody who knows ki us age mein wo you know wo cheez nahi hai you can't really translate ki bacche ye dekho ye kitni gehri cheez hai you can't do that what you can do however is initiate interest and to answer your second question i think the elitism sort of started way way before matlab um, not to sound offensive to any particular community or any i mean i see all these scholars say rabindranath tagore right and so he wrote in english as well so you are somehow trying to say ki you need to be conversant in english or you need to somehow be fluent in english only then your native and who you truly are would come out i mean i would love to see a perform- per- performer or an uh, artist who is only doing things in their own language and yet globally known mm. like i would love to see that because usme aap ye bata rahe ho ki if you are speaking in english you can reach out to us we'll give you our awards if you're not going to do that you can be a star in your own way right but we wouldn't recognize you so i think uh, wo to bahut time se hai and i feel like um i see families doing they doing this because somehow there is many indias and they just want to live in an india where who travels to europe in the summer and goes to us for their studies so i feel like it's by choice kyunki wo chahte hain ki agar unka bachcha ek sarkari school mein jayega to shayad wo sarkari school wala bachcha reh jayega in every everywhere i go and speak about this mai ye bolti hu ki yaar you you can be an english person you can be a hindi person spanish person punjabi person uh you can be multi dimensional you don't have to be ki mai english bolunga i am elite i am educated i am na 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 agar mai hindi bolta hu i am none of those things hmm. i think that needs to go somehow and um yeah that's that's my uh, that's my answer to it and so the scientific thing that you mentioned i i really like the nuanced things also jo you know which are hard to transfer to for example i'll give you an example um you know if in english i want to say ki okay speaking of have or having things right in english you would say uh, i have a brother and similarly you will say i have a phone both things you said have have great isi ko hum translate kare hmm. you can say mere paas phone hai that works hmm. but you can't say mere paas bhai hai hmm that doesn't work you see mm-hmm. iska logic kya hai ki you can't use pass with things you're born with which include your body parts and physical features and even family mm-hmm. you don't say mere paas kaale baal hai no mere baal kaale hai mm-hmm. so i think this is something mere student ne pucha i had to research on it and get back to them wow so agar hum usko is tarah se approach kare you see these things become very interesting like for example mere pita ji bla 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 karte hain whereas meri mata ji Why are you not giving respect to your Mata Ji? <laughs> What's the logic behind saying Mere? Because see, it's formality. It's a dad. Now you have to explain culturally that देखो बेटा हमारे जो हिंदुस्तान में घर होते हैं वहाँ पे you know the fathers and the grandfathers and the male figures in general get to have this sense of formality in address in addressing them as well, irrespective of वो बाद में बोल सकते हो अरे यार पापा, but it's Mere Papa. 
नॉट मेरा पापा राइट तो आई थिंक अगर आप उस तरह से उसको सोचोगे इट विल बिकम बाय डिफॉल्ट विल बिकम इंटरेस्टिंग इफ यू स्टार्ट टू लुक एट इट दिस वे बड़ी नुआन बात बता दी आपने कभी कभी सोचा ही नहीं कभी ऑब्जर्व ही नहीं किया था मैंने तो ये <laughs> ऐसे कितने शब्द हैं एक्चुअली मतलब जैसे हिंदी में हम कहते हैं जिज्ञासा इंग्लिश hmm. में क्यूरियोसिटी अब पता नहीं ये इसीलिए बोल रहा हूं मैं कि मैं हिंदुस्तानी हूं पर मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि जिज्ञासा एक शब्द है जो अंदर ले जाता है और इट इज इट इज मोर टूवर्ड्स टेकिंग टू टेकिंग यू टू योर ओन डेप्थ एंड क्यूरियोसिटी एक एक्सटर्नल ऑब्जर्वेशन वाली बात में आता है तो जो डेप्थ जिज्ञासा में शायद वो क्यूरियोसिटी में नहीं है ट्रू और वो क्यूरियोसिटी बोल बोल के हम बोलते हैं मतलब हम कॉर्पोरेट लिंगो में इतना बोलते हैं साइकोलॉजी स्टूडेंट यू नो दैट बट वो जिज्ञासा अंदर जाने की कभी नहीं क्रिएट होती मैं आपसे कुछ ऐसे ही पूछ रहा था ऐसे और कौन से शब्द हैं जिनसे आप पर्सनली बहुत ज्यादा प्रभावित हैं कि ये कितना बड़ा फर्क है इन शब्दों में एक्चुअली मुझे यही लगता है कि देर आर मेनी वर्ड्स विच डोंट इवन ट्रांसलेट वेल मतलब उनका ट्रांसलेशन ही नहीं है मुझे लगता है जिससे कि विरह एक शब्द है हाउ डू यू ट्रांसलेट विरह फॉर एग्जाम्पल या फिर हाउ डू यू ट्रांसलेट नॉट टू साउंड एनीथिंग बकवास है ना या बहुत सारे स्लैंग हैं वी हैव विच विच जस्ट डोंट ट्रांसलेट जैसे कि चाय जैसे ओके समबडी कम्स टू योर जैसे हम लोग आई डोंट नो आई आई विद दैट एनवायरनमेंट कि खुद अगर पोस्टमैन आपको पासपोर्ट देने आता है तो वो आपसे बख्शीज लेगा ही लेगा दिस पर्सन इज नॉट गो कि जब तक आप उसको सौ पचास मतलब सौ पचास भी नहीं पांच सौ रुपए नहीं दे देते तो ही सेस मैम कुछ चाय पानी Now, when you translate chai pani, it says tea and water. Okay, he is not asking for tea water. <laughs> so I think ये कुछ कल्चरल चीजें होती हैं जो आपको रो रह के ही समझ में आती हैं, है ना? तो सेडिस किया तुम लोग बोलते कुछ और मतलब मीनिंग कुछ और होता है। I'm like yeah, we do that <laughs> because we are not always very straightforward with what uh, we what we are trying to imply. And them coming from a place where everything is very confrontational and very upfront. they find it really hard to understand what the person is asking for or you know saying to them aap ne bahut young age se ye shuruaat kar di hindi teaching ki and you went to some of the most revered <laughs> revered kind of places in the country like us consulate us embassy and also with some of the most let us say notable names like writers like william dalrymple so right Was there a situation with you that how am I going to pull it off? Nervousness, confidence. How did you come over that? If that was a situation with you, I I have to say that um, I feel like that um, I was overjoyed. I mean, there was no. I don't. I never felt nervous. I actually felt very happy because I always, like I said, no. I am coming from a place where I have been beaten by so many. मैं मास्टर्स कर चुकी हूँ आई एम एज अ पर्सन नॉट एबल टू अपलाई माई सेल्फ इन फील्ड और इंडस्ट्री आई शुड ऑल्सो मैं दिस पॉइंट की जब मैं बीटेक कर चुकी थी आई वॉज डूइंग मास्टर्स आई डिड ट्राई टू आई डिड ट्राई टू अप्लाई टू वेरियस कॉर्पोरेट बिकॉज राइट लाइक आई सेट आई वॉज स्टिल इन देंस ऑफ जोन ऑफ की लेट सी इफ द जॉब वर्क आउट लेट सी इफ यू नो आई कैन वर्क समवेयर तो आई वुड नेम द नेम्स बट most of the companies i would i would say like 99% of the companies rejected me kyun kyunki they are looking for iits iims or iit iims or these kind of labels so outright na bol rahe ho because see i didn't do my graduation or post graduation from these kind of places which are like pro hiring etc you know every company wants to work with them and i wasn't ready to sell myself short कि hmm. अगर बीसीजी में काम करना है तो करना है अगर ईवाई में करना है तो करना है बिकॉज बाय बिकॉज आई नो दीज आर गुड कंपनीज टू वर्क विद एंड आई एम नॉट गोइंग गो टू सम रैंडम स्मॉल प्राइवेट वन रूम कंपनी नोएडा और गुड़गांव जस्ट टू किक स्टार्ट माय करियर 
क्योंकि मैंने तो अच्छे कॉलेज से बीटेक नहीं की आई डेंट कम फ्रॉम दैट स्कूल ऑफ थॉट बिकॉज आई रियली बिलीव इन मेरिटोक्रेसी कि यार एक बार काम करके करवा के तो देखो सो आई थिंक देयर लॉस वॉज एम बी सी इज गेन बिकॉज आई नेवर फेल्ट आई नेवर क्राइड आई नेवर फेल्ट नर्वस आई रिमेम्बर स्टिल ऑन माई फर्स्ट डे um so the two people who were responsible to hire me uh, from the american consulate i remember carrying these big mere uh, flower bouquets with me and you know gifting them with like proper cards ki thank you so much for trusting on me and i wouldn't disappoint you i was with that kind of uh, you know confidence going on to wo to mujhe kabhi aisa kuch hua nahi ki would i be able to pull this off my question was ki when will the other consulates call me <laughs> so my so my i think even growing up in delhi i don't know if you if you have these uh, if you are aware of these things delhi mein there is a proper area jahan pe chanakya puri mein mbc like us mbc yeah, france mbc shantipath ha ah, shantipath so i think mera wohi eventual goal yahi tha ki ek din sari embassies mein main kaam karungi ek se niklungi dusre mein ghusungi dusre se niklungi teesre mein ghusungi and you know so that that's kind of how i approached it and few years later that did happen before the covid hit us but uh, yeah confidence was never an issue <laughs> fantastic fantastic uh ek uh, baat one of the things i think got left out from my previous question so this multilingualism different languages how does this help our nervous system Oh right, sorry. I'm so sorry. I was thinking that I have missed something. Yeah. Okay. So um, I take some university lectures. I'm just putting a context to this. Sure. Um, and we have to teach about growth mindset, which is um a theory developed by Dr. Carol Dweck. I think she works it with the Massachusetts uh, Institute of Technology. I may be wrong on this. Uh, don't quote me on this. But I think she's a professor. She's a uh, psychology professor. very renowned revered personality as per her and in and in her theory of growth mindset uh, you need to come from a place where you like challenges and you like to face them and try and solve them to usme kya hota hai na ek to hota hai ki you see some challenge and you avoid it ki yaar mujhse nahi hoga let me just and if i do this and i fail it will be revealed to the world ki i am not good at it hmm. if you face it and you try and apply your brain to it what happens is your brain has these um cognitive uh, cognitive ability me agar hum baat kare there are literally neutrons and electrons in your brain maybe not electrons but there are definitely neutrons which are trying to seek help to each other with each other so if something challenging comes in your way they need to connect to each other to solve that problem jo hum kehte hain na somebody is thick headed the you literally need to be thick headed to actually be smarter Hmm. So I think what happens is when you are faced with something, you try and apply your brain because वो एक सीधे तरीके से नहीं हो पा रहा है. So you have to find alternative solutions, and that's where the conjunct uh, the joins happens. So right. the more thick head, thick uh, head, uh, the thick brain you are, the hmm. more smarter you are. Hmm. And so unfortunately, the, of course, decreases with age hmm. because you know a nineteen year old would be able to connect more. Neurons and everything in their brain versus say like let's say a fifty year old. Mm-hmm. So I think um, if you speak many languages, the cognitive develop development here, वो हर तरह से बढ़ता है. I'll tell you how. Like if you if I say the word apple, mm-hmm. the first thing that's coming to your head is a lal color का एक कोई fruit है, mm-hmm. उसकी एक shape है, right? Mm-hmm. Because since childhood we've seen a for apple. Mm-hmm. This kind of image processing that that took probably seconds. Mm-hmm. it wouldn't happen if i said manzana which is apple in spanish mm-hmm. so but if you mm-hmm. continue to do that so imagine how many of your brain cells would need to be connected mm-hmm. to be able to do this kind of reflections within seconds mm-hmm. so i think wo languages se automatic hota hai mm-hmm. you can say ki you know no no we'll speak english aur hum bacche ko tedx ki videos dikhayenge pure din Hmm. और उसको बाइजूस पे या उस पे और उस पे यू नो वील जस्ट कीप ऑन एक्सप्लोरिंग दम विद वीडियोस दैट डजन क्वाइट वर्क क्योंकि लैंग्वेज में क्या होता है यू हैव टू प्रोड्यूस आई एम कॉन्स्टेंटली प्रोड्यूसिंग समथिंग बिकॉज आई एम मेकिंग सेंटेंसेस इन माय हेड वो बाहर से नहीं आ रहा है वो अंदर से प्रोड्यूस हो रहा है इसी लाइक इससे बहुत फर्क पड़ता है एंड यू नो मेमोराइजेशन एंड अल्जाइमर्स एंड दिस काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स यू रियली नीड टू कैच योर कैच अ होल्ड ऑफ इट एंड इफ इफ डन एट द राइट एज मतलब यू नो आई आई नो ऑफ पेरेंट्स आई मीन इंटरनेशनल पेरेंट्स मल्टीनेशनल इंटरनेशनल एक्सेट्रा 
who consciously speak to their child in four to five languages bachpan se ki taki you know french bhi aa jaye german bhi aa jaye english bhi aa jaye hindi bhi aa jaye uh so i i think that's a very there is a reason why they're doing that i'm sure yeah may very interesting insight i think uh, i think it have a lot of credence to it tell me something there must be in my opinion or in my thought there must be two kind of people who would come to you true one would be people who want to learn hindi because they want to learn hindi it will help them enhance their professional life in india a little bit personal life but there would also be the other kind of people jahan ye factor to hai but there is more a love for language there is love for language if the former doesn't have love for language he or she thinks this is required to be done but the latter in addition to having it done have a love for language so people who have love for language what is different about them okay so with a corona standpoint to it um कोरोना के बाद के पहले की अगर मैं बात करूं पीपल वुड बी वेरी क्लियर व्हेन दे वुड मीट मी यू नो फॉर द लेसन वन ओवर टेवा और मे बी कॉल मी कि आई एम आई एम इंटरेस्टेड दे विल बी वेरी क्लियर माय एम्बेसी इज स्पॉन्सरिंग माय क्लासेस बिकॉज दे वांट मी टू रीच एक्स लेवल ऑफ प्रोफिशिएंसी आई विल प्रॉब्ली गिव एन एग्जाम और अ टेलीफोनिक इंटरव्यू व्हाटएवर एंड देन बेस्ड ऑफ ऑफ दैट एग्जाम आई विल प्रॉब्ली लेट्स से गेट द नेक्स्ट बोनस और यू नो आई विल बी Hmm. assigned my next uh, placement of you know because you're a diplomat you're going to different countries if you of course speak hindi your likelihood of being sent to india increases at least north india hmm. if you speak french you know french speaking nations would be your priority because you speak the lingua franca hmm. now this is a very clear uh, you know communication ki main kyu seekh raha hu kaun fund kar raha hai iska purpose kya hai Mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. then that needs to be approached slightly differently because then the vernacular comes in usme proper you know somebody is testing you i don't i'm not testing them so i don't know which level of hindi they are testing them at because there is a hindi which we speak in in the text in academic hindi and then there is a hindi which we speak in the daily life there is a huge difference as you may expect so that's the first one the second one as you said people who actually love you know learning languages i should really thank them because they have what kept me going you know and there was a time during this these last 2 3 years kya am i doing something right or should i just pivot to something else but they kept me going because they're still learning you know kai log they're making excuses online mein wo baat nahi hai aisa nahi hai wo nahi hai you know dekh lenge you know when everything gets to be normal again we'll try to i feel like the people who have love for languages um they just like i should probably say this because i have experienced this myself they like how they sound in another language and secondly this is my personal reading when you learn another language na and you try and speak with that suddenly you become inaccessible so for that one or two hours or whatever time they are learning with me etc jise ghar mein sab log baithe hain you know and they're speaking something nobody else is able to understand so they able to say whatever they want to say So I'll give you a very real life example. I have a student, an American student, and she loved French, and she studied French, etc. And then she got married to a guy from some country in Scandinavia. I don't know which country. I'm not sure. Maybe Norway. Mm-hmm. He is also an American, but lineage wise, they are from Scandinavia. Mm-hmm. So uh, what happened was this guy, as you may expect, in laws, ye wo whatever. So. This woman and this guy decided कि हम लोग आपस में सिर्फ फ्रेंच पे बात करेंगे सो दैट नो बडी अंडरस्टैंड ओके सो आई फील लाइक की दो लव फॉर लैंग्वेजेस ऑल्सो ट्राई एंड सी द यूज ऑफ इट वेरी इमीजिएटली हाउ आर वी साउंडिंग इन इट वॉट कैन वी डू विद इट कैन वी क्रिएट आर ओन कोडेड लैंग्वेज कैन वी मे बी अप्लाई समवेयर यूजिंग दिस बिकॉज देर इज मेनी जॉब्स और लेट्स ए गिग जॉब्स विच आर लैंग्वेज बेस्ड you know so if i am doing something in spanish jaise i'm sure there is some job somewhere a good job which i can do and make some quick money right because i i remember one of my portuguese students who actually used to teach at delhi university as well um would go and record cartoons in portuguese in india and delhi and would be paid immense amounts because 
how many people can speak Portuguese in Delhi, right? Uh, one of my students who clearly loves learning languages learned, uh, learned Russian. Uh, she went to Russia, in fact, also to complete her studies or you know, maybe an immersion program, I'm not sure. So her mother, I'm sure, also learned some languages and had the love of it. So her name is Allegra, which means joy in Italian. Right. Allegra learns Russian because she also likes learning languages and names her daughter Shastia, okay. which is again happiness in Russian. <laughs> so my goal is if Shastia learns Hindi, <laughs> her daughter's name would be Kushi, <laughs> which actually is one of my students' dog's name. All right. That's a good so, one. Yeah. So that's 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 there. And I, I feel like um Maybe Kalko, you know, if I have a kid and if I, you know, go in that direction, have a pet or something, I would definitely name them something in Spanish or French. Uh, uh, tell us some uh, notable memories you have where your students have been awe inspired by the richness or by the power of Hindi. A and B where you have got some insights while teaching them Hindi, which otherwise you would have not got. True, very true. So I think uh, to answer question A, I feel like uh, jo normally, you know, they, they feel so cut off. They feel like, Pata nahi kya ho hai aspas. because especially if you're European, white, you know, hetero, all of that, you don't even know what people are talking about. So I think the first thing that happens to them, I'll give you, I mean, probably this is because we are Hindi speakers, so we don't realize. Our construction is SOV, okay? Meaning subject, object, verb. This means that we put our verb in the last we put our verb. Okay. In English, I say, I am Pallavi. I am Pallavi. No. I am Pallavi. Hmm. So the who, which is our verb, hmm. is going in the end. Hmm. Similarly, even when I'm saying, okay, I'm saying, thik hai. Hmm. The hai is there. The hmm. verb is there. Right? Ye phone hai. This is phone versus this phone is. Hmm. So to cut it short, which was, was a humbling experience for me also. After taking two, three classes, one of my students come back to me. And so, you know, she's living alone, etc. She's like, I'm so happy I started taking classes because at least now I know where the sentence ends. <laughs> because you know every time somebody says something something hai she's like oh sentence khatam ho gaya <laughs> so I think I think I was wow. like oh my god because yeah. obviously see for her it's like an ongoing monologue usko pata hi nahi na kya baat ho rahi hai like blah 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 uh -huh. and the person is like now react so I'm like yeah that's true <laughs> so <laughs> so <laughs> So I think it was really funny for me to understand how handicapping it is sometimes and how challenging it is sometimes. The kind of questions a lot of my students have asked me have really reflected on the patriarchy we have. Like I just mentioned the Mere, Mera, Meri thing. They've also reflected on the, um, how to say, convolutedness of our language. I'll give you another example. They say in English, I say I, so I am Pallavi, right? And also I like coffee, for example, or I like chai, whatever. Being an I, you can do things. I can have, I can, I, I like, I am, etc. So I never changes. Hmm. Whereas in Hindi, when you say main Pallavi hu, suddenly when you want to express liking, it is mujhe, mujhe chai pasand hai. Hmm. Almost never, nobody says main chai pasand karti hu. That's something else. Hmm. So why, what is man, what is mujhe? Hmm. Why the change? So mujhe is actually to me. Hmm. Huh? So it's, it's the, sim the similar thing happens in Spanish also. You say me gusta. Hmm. It pleases to me. Hmm. I don't like it. Main hai bethi, main kuch nahi kya. It is just pleasing me. <laughs> so mujhe ye pasand hai. Yeah, similarly with diseases, no? I have fever, okay? No, no, mujko bukhar hai. Main kuch nahi kya, mujko. It's to, uh, to me. Hmm. You see the, how the responsibility shifts, how the subject changes, what we are trying to express, what's the nuance of formality, why the women are not getting it, why the men are getting it. Why is there a Shri and a G? 
whereas there is only madam g you know these are things that i have been uncomfortably asked about i should say kyunki immediately you don't have an answer pallavi mm-hmm. what if your what if your vision what if your future uh, is sir i think my vision is just to keep on doing what i'm doing theek hai jab main shuru bhi kiya tha there was no isko aise karungi aise karungi i feel like yes definitely in the pipeline is me maybe publishing a book at some point which is going to be about how to teach hindi as a foreign language okay not the kakha ga and not the books that we have with ncrt how to teach hindi as a foreign language hmm. and i don't know if it happens within my lifetime or not i feel like for a lot of teachers like us if they exist of course so if you're teaching english as a second language or a foreign language british council and many other councils around the world uh, test you on your teaching skills and provide you a certificate and now you are a tesol which is teaching english as a second language tested certified teacher mm. i don't have that mm. i feel like there is no a lot of students ask me if you have a certificate or a license yeah i don't because there is no agency testing me in that way mm. there are agencies doing you know nets and pgts and dgts that is different so i feel like wo to khair that's something external personal vision and i think my next goal is to try and just consolidate what i have built all these years you know the study materials and the practice sheets just consolidate it and try and find a nice decent publisher who can maybe um publish it and alongside i want to do something that i've seen in other languages is they build they build story books hmm. where one page is let's say a short story in italian and the next page is same story same same short story in english so you can see word by word line by line the changes that are happening so hmm. i think kai log wahan se bhi seekhte hain i have had students specifically i had a brazilian student उसने बोला मुझे कुछ मत सिखाओ मुझसे बहुत बात करो ओके एंड हु व्हाट डू यू नो थ्री इयर्स लेटर ही इज द ओनली पर्सन इन हिज एम्बेसी हु स्पीकिंग फ्लुएंटली और मोस्ट आई मीन हाईली फ्लुएंट देन लेट्स से अदर पीपल सो आई फील लाइक पीपल लर्न रियली डिफरेंटली तो द स्टोरी वुड व्हाट दे इट वुड डू इट प्रोवाइड अ विजुअल सॉर्ट ऑफ थिंग कि इंग्लिश में ऐसे हिंदी में ऐसे है तो व्हाट्स हैपनिंग राइट एंड ऑफ कोर्स combine the book of how to teach or how to approach hindi as a foreign language that is something i want to definitely do why don't you share with us maybe one or two of your most noble methods when you come across with your students to give them that quick learning before we end this conversation absolutely so i think ek to yahi ki um our verbs in hindi are 3d i'll tell you what i mean by that three dimensional okay let's take khana okay khana is to eat now in english we have to eat and then to feed and the third one is probably to make somebody feed right like so i asked my i asked my helper to feed the dog or whatever right so that's very but we still using to eat and to feed mm-hmm. in hindi it's very i feel like ye raja maharaja ke time se shayad kahin se shuru hua i am not sure there is khana then there is khilana and there is khilwana same thing with banna banana and banwana you know so it's very obvious ki banwana jo hai ya khilwana jo hai there is a guy doing this for you probably is coming because we have so many people to work for us i'm not sure so i feel like ye to first thing very distinct thing in hindi is this three dimensional existence of verbs okay which i have never seen in any other language either they use a different verb to eat and to feed clear i have never seen the same verb change itself that's something i haven't seen in any other languages that at least i have learned so far mm. the second thing i feel like um, which is very prominent in hindi is um subject change you know main becomes mera mere paas mujhe mujme mujh par mujse <laughs> i mean <laughs> it's like another ki pehle to yahi seekh lo ki change kaise ho raha hai Uh-huh. and you know what doesn't help me is this uh, this idea of students ki hum bollywood dekh ke hindi seekh jayenge i'm like yeah good luck with that <laughs> agar aisa hota to you know 
narcos and all these shows would have all across the world people would have been fluent in spanish by now yeah true and uh, so yeah i think that's the that those are two major because i've never seen so many changes in the main subject and the main work mm-hmm. uske baad of course is grammar and all of that but these are two things that i feel are very prominent mm-hmm. for us मुझे एक चीज जो बहुत एनामर करती है हमारी भाषा हिंदी की कि जो नाम होते हैं हमारे उन सब में गहरा मतलब होता है वेरी ट्रू जैसे आपका नाम है पल्लवी तो पदम लयम विसरियम उसमें इतने सारे कॉम्बिनेशन है हर्ष दीपक कितने खूबसूरत इनकी गहराई होती है इन नामों में पर आज हम वो गहराई में जाते ही नहीं हर नाम एक साधना है एक्चुअली एक्चुअली एब्सोल्युटली तो बहुत अच्छा लगा अभी आपसे बात करके आप इफ देयर एनीथिंग एल्स व्हिच यू वांट टू शेयर व्हिच आई मे हैव मिस्ड आउट और समथिंग नो एब्सोल्युटली आई थिंक वी यू प्रो यू पुट अप वेरी वेल रिसर्चड एंड थॉट आउट क्वेश्चंस एंड आई एम रियली हैप्पी दैट आई गॉट टू आंसर क्वेश्चंस लाइक दिस बिकॉज़ आई मीन बीइंग अ लैंग्वेज टीचर अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल थिंक यार ठीक है ना हिंदी पढ़ा रही है ठीक है व्हाटएवर सो या बहुत अच्छा लगा आपसे बात करके आई थिंक अरे सेम हियर आई आई कुड एक्चुअली कीप गोइंग ऑन फॉर अनदर आवर एट लीस्ट टॉकिंग टू यू बिकॉज़ आई हैव स्टिल सो मच आई कुड आस्क यू एंड मे बी एट सम अदर टाइम बट एब्सोल्युटली नो आई वुड लव टू हैव अ पार्ट 2 आई डोंट नो इफ स्टूडेंट्स और सॉरी आई मीन योर लिसनर्स लिसनर्स वुड लाइक दैट आई कैन आल्सो गो ऑन एंड ऑन एंड ये पीछे जो ये दीस आर आई डोंट नो इफ आई शुड शो यू बट i don't know how to okay so this is a uh, i was just planning uh, my lessons all right you know i was just like liking ye is tarah se i was just making plans ah oh, okay uh-huh. you know lesson when ye so i was i mean this is what i do yeah yeah this is my life <laughs> i think so with your you know methods with flash card and movie names and the different wave of inciting that interest and i think that approach is really really beautiful it's i think it's good for the country uh, the more the hindi the better it is it's good for social inclusion absolutely for you and me to do part 2 upon <laughs> absolutely all for it thank you so much pallavi it was a great pleasure thank you thank you so much pleasure was all mine